Wambuzi chari za mumira ere You deserve a photo shoot every hour It's your hour Camera, camera, lights, flash, click Check, strike up, pose Oh, swag, drippy, drippy, click Strike up, pose Hey everybody, it's your hostess with the mostest. Yes, 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 welcome to her hour. I should actually be saying hey, our rangers. Thank you so much for all the love and for watching all of the videos while we're here in lockdown. I hope you're all keeping safe, wearing your masks, six feet away, watch, 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 sanitizing your hands and just, yeah, keeping safe. Today is um, again the influence series. If you haven't watched any of our other episodes, make sh please make sure you go back and you check them out. I'm sure the suggestion cards will be somewhere on the screen. Yes, um, but yeah, make sure you go and check out the other episodes. And yes, as you know, my name is Vera. Yes, your favorite person. Click strike up pose. Oh. And we are joined by my fave, 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 yes, and also your fave, my co-host, my friend, my my human, who's like, yes, today we are matching on the ear swag. Yes. Tell them who you are, girl, if they don't know. I am um, the girl of your dreams. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What's good, guys? It's Jordan. What's popping? How are you doing? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> And today we're joined by, I, oh gosh, I can't even find like the right way to like introduce our guest today. He is the king, well, according to me, okay, so y'all, you can write whatever you feel, but according <laughs> to me, he is the king of hip hop from the city of kings and queens. Yes, make some noise for ASAP. Woo! <laughs> Excuse me, why are you introducing him? I had People introduce I'm themselves special. on this podcast. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> no. So you can introduce yourself. <laughs> yo, 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 what's up? My name is ASF, hip hop artist from Bulawayo, the city of kings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just all around cool guy. <laughs> oh. And, and, and you're forgetting something, and you are, you've been nominated. Oh yeah, and no, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, and I'm a nominee for the MTV uh, Music Awards. So hey, MTV congratulations! Shout out to you! <laughs> uh, shout out to you! <laughs> Maybe by the time this has come out, um, we you would know won. what is popping. Yeah. Oh. Listen to Vera's like. When is the awards. award show? On the twentieth. Of Feb. Twentieth of Feb. Yeah. Of what? Feb. Of oh, February, my bad. Oh my yeah. gosh, guys, my birthday's on the 19th. So, um, shout out to me, shout out to me. <laughs> so, uh, if I win, I'll add that in the uh, in the acceptance speech. Yes, yes, please yes! do. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great, that's great, that's great. So, yeah, today we are gonna talk about. Oh, well, before I get into that, um. This episode, like all of our other episodes, have been sponsored by the amazing local brand, Kuva. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You can see Jordan and I are living our best lives and trying not to get tipsy by the end of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> and ASAP, I saw you Speak for yourself. <laughs> what are you sipping on, ASAP? I see you sipping. What are you sipping on? I'm sipping on, on the tears of all the people that didn't want me to win this nomination, basically. Now I'm playing. This is just water from Bulao. You know what I mean? You know, water from Sky is, is Woolies water. You know what I'm saying? From oh, 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 hectic. Okay, okay. I better okay. come get me some. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. We see you guys. We see you. No, Bulao water is way better than Harare water. For those of you who do not know, yeah. You cannot drink Harare tap water, but you can drink Bulawayo tap water. <laughs> Something happens in the pipes of Harare where our water is yeah. just, yeah, you can't. Unless you want to die. I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is. It's looting and it's oppression <laughs> and it is. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Disclaimer. Um, 
<laughs> the views addressed in this episode are purely, I'm joking. Um, so yeah, so today we're going to talk about um, influence and like the power of influence and like the roles that influences play in our society and such and such. And I guess I'm going to just kick start with a basic question. Anyone yeah. is ready to answer? <laughs> Please answer. Um, <laughs> but like, what does, um, excuse me, what does influence mean to you? Influence. Um, influence, I guess, is the power to inspire people to do something. You know what I mean? To mm. cause a, a sort of reaction from people. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think that's what it means to me. Whether it's good or bad, you mm. know what I mean? Influence is just that power to like get people to do something. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, <laughs> yes. so I think influence is basically having the power to, you know, make a lot, help people to make their decisions, if that yeah. makes sense. Like you yeah. influence people's decision making processes. So I think that that's just to put it simply, I think that's what it is. You play a big role in the decisions that people make. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I like that she said um, good or bad. Like that that really means a lot. Because I think a lot of the times you just assume that influence is automatically a good thing. Like someone can influence yeah. in a good way. But like sometimes it's really bad. Like I'll give a perfect example. Um, Trump managed to influence a bunch of crazy Americans to go and storm the Capitol. That is terrible yeah. influence. That was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's just like, yeah. So I just like that um, you mentioned that it can be good or bad. I think sometimes we just automatically assume that, no, it's all good. It's always going to be, you know, good influence, but sometimes it can be real. Yeah. Hectic. So like, ASAP, when you started like out your music career, when you were younger, like did eight year old ASAP know that he was going to be a superstar or is this a thing that uh just like happened? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure like when everyone starts out, they have that thing in them to say, yo, because you'd be inspired by seeing other artists on TV or whatever, and you're seeing them as stars. So in your mind, you're also like, yo, that's me, right? You know what I mean? Mm. Um, so yeah, definitely there was that idea to say, this is the level that I want to be on when I'm doing this with the bright lights and the nice clothes and the nice cars and the wah, wah, wah. Like, you know what I mean? So definitely everyone starts off seeing themselves as a, a superstar you know what i mean mm. so that that was just it to be honest i think along the way you kind of lose sight of it i feel like you actually believe it more when you're starting out than you do after you've been like years through getting rejected getting booed off stage mm. people not listening to your song etc you know what i mean so i hear you i hear you um jordan did you think mm. that you're gonna be famous <laughs> Or have influence. I'm not famous. First of all, I am not famous. <laughs> um, I, you know what? I I will say that I I think I don't think I'm famous. So this question does not feel very applicable to me. I will say that I think I do have some sort of influence in whatever sphere that I occupy. Um, to a certain extent and um, I didn't think I would oh, I, I didn't always think that I would have this but um, I did know that I wanted to influence people or like my whole life people have always told me oh you're like Ugh. it's so corny and I hate to say it but like a lot of the times even in, in school people used to say you're such a bad influence oh my gosh you make everyone do the the bad stuff and you know like people always used to say oh you're the you're the one in the class that everyone like pays attention to or like everyone's following your example like and it wasn't intentional it's not like I wanted that to be the situation or like you know and then obviously I grew up and things changed and you know when I was in high school that wasn't the case <laughs> I think I had like two friends, guys. <laughs> um, no, for real, because I was such a mean person. But anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I grew up and then it just changed. And I was like, you know what? I want to be someone who can influence change, good positive change, you know? Mm. So I started working in the spaces where I could um, be a part of spaces or people who help to effect that kind of change mm. so yeah I think I won't say that I'm like famous or like super influential but I think that I play 
a role in helping to influence certain things. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, I hear you. I think, um, like I said in the last, like when we were talking to King Her, I was like, I, when I was a kid, I was like, I want to be famous. I want the glitz, the glams. I want everybody to look at me and be like, oh my God, that's Vera. And then like, I had this weird epiphany at some point in time in my life. And I was like, I think like fame to a certain point is like really crazy and really hectic and really, um, it's a lot. And I think, and I was like, I don't think I want that in my life. I don't want to have to control every single thing that I say because people might interpret it in their own way. I don't want to have to always look amazing because, you know, people expect it off me and things like that. But like mm-hmm. in terms of um, influence, I think it kind of leans into like what she was saying, Jordan, is that I found myself in spaces where like I'm not famous. Some people know me, some people don't. But I think I've, I've found myself in spaces where I've had a chance to share my story, share my experiences, and that's managed to kind of influence or change people's lives. And I think ultimately that's what I want at the end of the day. Um, If someone can have an experience with me, if I can have a conversation with ASAP, if I can have a conversation with Jordan, and when y'all leave my area or where I am and you're like, you know what? This just made me think that maybe I need to change like what I'm doing. For me, that's like perfect. I can like die and be perfectly happy with that. And I mm-hmm. think, um, yeah, I think that's what's most important at the end of the day is that even if your influence isn't on like some crazy large scale, but like if it could just be like a, a small scale, but you're just changing people's lives and everything like that's yeah. enough for me. I mean, I think it's because influence is influence. You know what I mean? That is, it's not like measured to say, oh, it's only influence if you are influencing people more than 50 people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because also you could, you could probably say something to someone who will then go on to influence the whole world. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I remember someone right. thinking about, thinking about the, the person who led T.D. Jakes to, to, to Christ. You know what I mean? Mm. And how big T.D. Jakes churches are. But it started with one person who had to influence that to happen. You know what I mean? So mm. you could talk to someone who could become the president. And based off of that influence, mm. you caused or triggered the influence of millions of people. Yeah. So I think we shouldn't really measure to say, oh, it's influence is influence. Whether you're just influencing your little sister or, you know what I mean, the whole, every woman in the country. I don't know. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? No, that's so true. That's so true. Um, so do you think that people in positions of influence, like, have a responsibility to like speak truth to like you know situations that are going on like in their communities and in their environments um yeah so like for example uh the zimbabwe lives matter movement like do you think Mm -hmm. that every influence in zimbabwe should have said something or should um (laughs) that is a really tricky question because another thing we need to check right Mm -hmm. there are some people who are, they know that they're influential and then they carry that responsibility, you know what I mean? To say, yo, uh, I have this uh, gift or I have this ability to influence people. So I need to do like this or do, they are conscious about it. They mm. even have a whole message wrapped around their lives to say, this is my mission. This is what I'm about. Mm. And then there are those who just do them, you know what I mean? And then for some reason, the internet makes them famous. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. yeah. It's it's really it's really tricky, bro, because you don't expect um just any Jack and Jill to run for president. You don't expect just any Jack and Jill to get onto a podium and speak sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. the same thing. Just because someone has that platform, they won't expect them to use it in a way that will make sense. It's an it's, a, it's an unfortunate yes, thing. Yes, you know? Vera, Street is calling. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oops, sorry, sorry. <laughs> hey, 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 I hope I'm not ruining No, sorry, plans, go, ahead, go ahead. No, no, continue. <laughs> go ahead. So, so, so yeah, that, that's, that's what I think. There are some people that have a mission, have a plan to say, yo, this is me. But then there are others who are just doing them. Maybe they just dress good. And that's the reason why they've got this influence. So mm-hmm. you won't expect someone whose focus is mainly on twerking on Insta to come out and say, oh, guys, you know, you know what I mean? I, It is I what it you. is. I hear you. I hear you. Hectic. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, you know, I kind of agree with you to a certain extent. I feel like we can't expect people to, like, 
be the crusaders for every single topic or whatever, whatever. But I feel like if something is, you know, affecting people in your lives that you love, and if it's something that's affecting, you know, not just, if you're distanced from it, I can understand why you may feel like, oh no, I, it's something that doesn't affect me, so I don't have to speak on it. But I mean, if it's affecting people in your life, like your loved ones, you know, your mom or your dad or whatever, like as much as you are an influence or a celebrity or whatever, you are still a human being. You still have people who are, you know, affected by society's yeah. um, shortfalls, you know? So I just think that you kind of, uh, a person in a, in a position of influence kind of owes it to the people who are supporting them mm -hmm. to, you know, show them your... Um, I feel, I feel what you guys are going through. I feel the struggle. I am conscious of it and I can practice empathy enough to say, yo, I stand in solidarity with my fellow citizens or with the people who are being affected by the social issue. It doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you're trying to make a political statement or you're trying to, you know, start something it just means like i am conscious of the struggling the struggles or the suffering of the people that are being affected by this thing therefore i will speak on behalf of a larger group of people who don't have the means or don't have the voice or access to resources to be able to speak at the level that i can speak at do you know what i mean mm. so it's in as much as we can say yeah it's not my brand it's not what i am advocating for it's not what i'm trying to do you know it's it's not what i'm about or whatever i think to a certain extent at a certain point it's it's a sacrifice the same way people sacrifice their coins to buy your products or your music or your clothes or whatever the 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 thing is that you're the person is selling that people are buying you know sacrifice for sacrifice that's what i think could i say something <laughs> go ahead i i, I feel you name it's just sometimes the people in the places of influence are not all like artists or people with a product, you know what I mean? Those people usually would kind of have that. We're talking about also people who are just people, Nje, <laughs> but he has 100K followers, you know what I mean? And not everyone is as right. kind-hearted. Not everyone is as kind-hearted, mm -hmm. is as open-minded, as woke, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? As mm -hmm. we would expect people in with influence or platform to be. So I'm talking about someone who just wakes up fairly like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Even on his, where it says what, on Facebook, and it says political interest or political what they say, not interested. <laughs> you know what I mean? Those type of people, those, those are the type of people I'm thinking of when we're talking about influencers. Because I if someone, you. maybe like an artist or whatever, they're an artist, they're not necessarily an influencer. You know what I mean? They've got a product they're trying to give you and convince you to buy. But mm. talking about people who literally are just famous, <laughs> you know what I mean, online for 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 whatever reason. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. And not everyone is, is as kind-hearted or as empathetic, you know what I mean? Some people yeah. are just they, like this. True. But, like, I, I hear what you're saying. I just thought of when you talked about the example of, like, a twerk queen, like, you don't exactly expect her to be like, Black Lives Matter, and she's, like, twerking. But <laughs> I literally um, saw a campaign um, in the States trying to encourage people to go and vote. And it was literally exotic, like, strippers. And they were like, nah, we're going to do a video. We're and they were like, three of them. <laughs> and they're, like, around the pole and everything. I was like, man, this is so smart. Like... <laughs> I had mad respect for them. I was like, you know what? Like, that is just like, man, if I was a stripper, I would like start doing campaigns like that here. I'm joking. <laughs> like, what's his name? When they when had the funeral for Tuku and like everyone had to come and give their, uh, a little piece of what they do. So all different artists would come and sing or whatever. And then yeah. Bev came up and she's like literally doing splits and dancing at the funeral and everything. Yes. So, that's her shout thing. Out. <laughs> Because that's her talent. And she had to contribute and say, yeah, yeah you know, he inspired me. <laughs> to be in my <laughs> No, but like, I don't know. I just think that when you're in a position of influence, regardless of how you're in at that point, 
I think there's certain issues that you just can't afford to be quiet. Um, an example is like Black Lives Matter movement in America. I think as long as you don't consider yourself a racist, you should have said something. And I don't mean that you needed to do a whole Martin Luther King speech, I had a dream, nah. Just putting the hashtag. Take a picture of yourself on the beach, Kim Kardashian, and then put hashtag Black Lives Matter. That's fine, because I but, think at the end of the day, the idea was to get the movement okay. trending and to get more people kind of thinking about it and trying to advocate for some sort of change. I feel you. There's a certain extent though, that people now would say, especially I noticed it with the Zim, Zim Lives Matter movement, right? Yeah. Where now people would post, let's say, hashtag Zimbabwean Lives Matter, but it's a selfie. Hashtag Zimbabwean Lives Matter, but it's maybe their music link or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> and people really got offended by that because they were yeah. saying, no, don't do that. We're trying to let people find the real issue. But now when people come to Zim Lives Matter, hashtag, they're going to see your selfie. <laughs> At, at Vic Falls, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like crazy because I, I, I'm still on this point because I guess maybe I've just gotten to know human beings mm. in, the, in the past two years that human beings are crazy, bro. Human beings are on a different type of time. And because like not everyone, I'm sure there are some influencers mm. who swear that they're not influencers or at least say, I'd, I'd never asked to be an influencer. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's when someone already has that mentality, ha, don't expect them to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think we should just expect it from those who do. And from those who don't, let's not even try and stress to try and convince them. Because I feel like if you don't get it, ah, bro, then that's just- I tell one. you, <laughs> I tell you. Can I ask a question? But then the, well, you know what? I'm, I yeah. just feel like those are the same people, guys. Let's be honest. Uh, I, I'm, I feel like I'm like, but yeah, I'm just going to say what I want to say. Um, yeah. Those are the same people that when now they do something wrong and people on social media are screaming, cancel, cancel, cancel. Those are going to be the same people who will be making the apology videos like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know what I was doing. Like, uh, and then it's like, okay, but. <laughs> he said you want so to be an influencer. <laughs> right. I feel I'm you. choose to be an influencer. So like, I can't just, I, 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 no, girl, like, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are the first ones. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's tricky. Yeah, and I think you can't, I don't think people can say that I had like influence just happened. I think it's a conscious decision. The other day we were talking to Mikey Chindia and I was like, organically, yes, you can just be a person who's on Twitter, who's on Instagram, who's on Facebook. You get your couple of likes, cool. And then it's going to get to a certain point where you're just doing it like where it's just a natural thing that people just like your ambiance. And then like there's a point where you're now very conscious of what you're doing. So it's either you're going to go the route of, okay, like if it's a woman, even with men, actually, anybody. It's either you're going now the sexual route where you're like, oh, <laughs> working out today, booty picks men with the abs, oh, my ab game strong, whatever. Or you're going to go yeah. like, you know, the I'm um, so Not with the abs. With men, it's always the towel. It's always yeah. the towel. <laughs> yes. That it's v, the towel. The man V. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> or you're going to go like the conscious route, or you're not going to start pushing your hustle, whatever it is. Be like, oh, well, you know, I'm all about natural products, or, you know, I'm going to push my music or whatever it is. But then it now starts becoming a conscious thing. And that's how you now get to the 100K um, <laughs> follows and like the 1,000 likes per post, because you're now making conscious decisions about what you're putting out there, because you know you want people to follow you. So I don't think yeah. people can say that, oh, it just, oh, I just woke up like this now, nah, sweetie. <laughs> Only Beyonce wakes up like that. You, you play. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Uh, right. I agree with you. You know, if you're accepting brand deals and if you are accepting, you know, those, those packages and advertising people's things, you know what you are doing. You are playing into the game of being yes. an influencer and yeah. you cannot sit there and now say, Oh no, I didn't choose to be an influencer. Okay, you didn't choose it. So, but you're choosing to play into it. You're choosing to continue with it and run with it and to allow people to send you these products, you know, like 
Yeah, no, I feel like as much as it's not a choice to a certain extent, what you choose to do with it after that is the choice. But I completely hear what you're saying. I completely, I feel your point and your point is 1000% valid. <laughs> but I just feel like there are just a, a lot of people who like to play the oblivious uh-huh. card. Oh, I had, you know, things over my eyes. Oh no, like... No, knowing knowing ignorance is the biggest cause of like problems in our generation. Let's be honest. A lot of people know what they are doing, but because of not wanting to be accountable yeah. or not wanting to have to take the responsibility of learning, educating themselves, because it's a lot of work, guys. It's mm. it's a whole lot of work to mm. be woke or to be someone who understands you know social concepts Mm. so a lot of people would just rather issue that whole idea and be like you know what i'm not doing that i will just play dumb yeah (laughs) and some are just addicted to the whole thing you know what i mean some are just addicted to the whole rush because i'm sure in there's not many influencers who are getting products delivered to them and what are that but we do know we have them right we do see them you know what I mean Mm -hmm. so sometimes they may be conscious of it but they are conscious of it in another way where they are just feeding that addiction to say yo I posted a booty pic and it got more likes than the other one and what I want is likes so I have to keep doing this to get the likes you know what I mean true true no yes okay so do you think that um people of influence are how can I put this in a nice way like ignorant (laughs) like extremely ignorant do you think that people of influence are ignorant like i'm trying to think of a good example oh so what's her face kylie jenna bought her her kid like uh, a stupidly expensive bag like Mm -hmm. in the middle of a pandemic and was like posting this everywhere and this is like after like most Americans, and this is just looking at America, most Americans are unemployed right now, struggling to make ends meet because of COVID and everything. And this chick goes mm-hmm. out and she's like, ah, oh, got my baby, like a really fancy new bag. And it's so unnecessary. Like your kid's like two, like what the hell does your kid need yeah. a bag for? Especially yeah. a label bag. Like, what are we doing? What yeah. is that? So do you think that a lot of influencers, a lot of celebrities, a lot of artists are ignorant or they just choose to push this persona of a lifestyle because they just don't want to I guess connect to reality um I think there are some people who are like that right but at the end of the day influencers are also just people people of influence are just people and people are different you know what I mean people have different things that matter to them people have different things that some people can read the room. Some people can't read the room. Some people think um, A is a good president. Other people think, no, he's not. You know what I mean? So now that depends on which per- what type of a person this person of influence is. You see what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you, And it's just unfortunate that they are now at a level where they will air out their opinion, where now we all see it, and now we will react to it. And t- you see what I'm saying? So yeah, it is crazy. Like I'm trying to give you an example. A local example. Um, <laughs> well, I think it was this past week when, you know, all these politicians are losing their lives and everything and everything, right? And mm-hmm. then there was this whole debate or back and forth where some people are celebrating and excited and what, and then someone was like, no, guys, you know, we shouldn't um, celebrate uh, when people die, what, and this mm-hmm. and this was also someone of influence. Then boom. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, but it's... it's but I'm sure, but I am, I am sure that there are some people who maybe don't have that same amount of influence who felt the same. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. And, and, and vice versa. You see, yeah. I'm sure there are people with all the influence who mm. are posting saying, yo, Vele, I'm in. Mm. Another one, another one. You know what I mean? Like- and then there's some people... There's some people with no influence as well with mm. their two followers saying, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, people are people and they will just be people. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, that's just how it is. So yes, there are some people who do it uh, to protect, to just push that thing. I feel maybe Kylie Jenner, bruh, is just in a bubble. You know what I mean? Probably doesn't even watch the news. Probably doesn't even, you see what I'm saying? Know what's 
really happening. So of course you'll be like, I'm not gonna buy a bag. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I'm gonna buy a bag. I ain't got nothing to do. It. And I've got all this money. So I mean, it's gangster. But people at the end of the day are just people. Mm-hmm. That's and so people true. are crazy. <laughs> right. That's also true. You know what? I also feel like it's kind of part of like flex culture. I feel like she likes a lot of black men. She likes <laughs> that. She is very into that. So she's like playing into the hip hop kind of thing of like, let me flex what I have, you know, flexing, flexing. You know, I bought my kid oh, like $50,000 Hermes bag because. I'm flexing. I'm a 23 year old billionaire, and who the, the who I'll else make- is doing that? Do you know what I mean? So I think like she's playing into that because she knows the target market of the men that she likes to visit her body, and so she has to, you know, do the things. <laughs> do do do. I mean, think about it though. All of us, like, if we were to have like some sort of achievement or something. We do post and say, oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't. It's just a uh, word, Jordan. You sure if you were to graduate. I only post when it's done, were, guys. When it's done, were, when it's done, 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 done. Like if you were to graduate, if you were to do something amazing, if you were to do something or had like a dream or a plan that you said, you know what? I want to get my driver's you know license I or I want to get my wife. You. And you posted it. I feel you. I feel, you know, I feel you because in the same breath, people could be like, how dare you graduate in front of us in the middle of a <laughs> pandemic? People can't you afford school I'm... fees and you're busy graduating. How you dare saying? you? <laughs> so what if, what if it was her, I like, think, that, yo, one day I want to buy my daughter a bag. Then you know what I mean? Really, she bro? <laughs> managed to get the bag, you know what I mean? And I was just like, oh, I bought my daughter a bag. So don't get offended. But also, we don't know who she's flexing for. She could be flexing for her million dollar friends, like her friends who that is nothing to them. Like that's yeah. that's change. That is Ask like fifty thousand dollar bag, girl. Please, no. no right, no. I think guys, create a WhatsApp group and app your friends and be like, guys, this is what I put <laughs> in my life. The whole world don't need to know about that. We don't need to see that nonsense. What annoys you know what me I- about that whole thing is, I remember there was another episode of the Kardashians, right? Like from years ago, Kim, they were swimming and they went on some crazy holiday as a family. Kim lost an earring that was like worth twenty five or seventy five thousand dollars. And she was like crying like the world, like she had broken. I don't know, like her baby was swallowed by a shock. And Courtney was like, dude, people die of starvation every day. Like, get over yourself. And I'm like, this is why I like Courtney, because she's real. Like, <laughs> I just told anyone that would be fine. annoyed. I work really I know, hard, and I know. I... guys like it's. I don't think there's like a like the bag thing is not an accomplishment. I think sometimes it is about flexing, and I think sometimes people just don't want to read the room, and they just want to just say whatever they say. Like there was even another post by like an artist in America during the Black Lives Matter campaign, and they're like, "Well, people die every day, guys. Like, come on, come on, guys, come on, come on." Like, no, that's not what, what, something that I thought though. To be honest, right? I really feel it is like I was about to say it's us, <laughs> the people, the people who follow influencers, right? Mm. Are the enablers. You know what I mean? Like I feel there is a fetish around being outraged in this era. Yeah. People are waiting to look for something to get upset about, or you know what I mean. So I feel sometimes... Oppression Olympics. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I feel like sometimes, hey, we just... And 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 these influencers or people in influence kind of also know, whether knowingly or unknowingly, that if I do this, it's going to get a reaction. Like the Shadayas of this world. You know what I mean? Like, mm. they really know what to say to get people going crazy. Yeah. And then when we go crazy, we're giving them exactly what they want. You know what I mean? Mm. So, and then they get new followers. They get attention. You know what I mean? Because because the there will be someone they get spoken yeah. about. Yeah, there will be someone on this earth somewhere who agrees with that type of thinking. You know what I mean? Mm. So the best way, like, to deal with it is not to give that attention. You know what I mean? Not to give that because sometimes you feel like maybe they're looking. They're they're not looking to be influencers. They're looking for attention. 
mm. you know what i mean people mm. are, are really just looking for attention they're not trying to influence mm. they're not they're not trying to change the world or trying to what at the end of the day we also know like all these are uh, studies and research that has gone into social media and how it affects people and how you know with likes and what about the dopamine what 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 all those yeah. things you know what i mean so People know, like someone knows if I want to get people to support ASAF, let me go online and say, oh, you guys are not supporting ASAF. Uh, are you guys jealous? And then it's going to blow up. Now everyone will be talking about ASAF. You know what I mean? So the best way to deal with such people is to not give them the outrage. I'm going to do that once... tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all are haters. ASAF said he was sipping on your tears, haters. <laughs> Uh, yeah it's crazy you will blow up in <laughs> five seconds or less and trend you blow yes. up and trend no <laughs> people ignore my tweets guys i will not no. No. people no. do not ignore your tweets jordan please please no, i know i'm just I, joking <laughs> i hear what she's saying though that just makes sense i think we do like followers are enablers because like as the the, the audience that's just consuming we just we take it all in and then and you're right that we are in a, we, we're living in a world that wants to be shocked and appalled by things like oh my gosh no and like um yeah so it makes sense so given that light of information do you believe in cancel culture or do you think it's all a part of the whole like oh i'm gonna do something outrageous so people want to cancel me and then those that didn't know me will start looking me up and say like oh my gosh so who is this very person that everyone's talking about and then I now get more followers and more followers. <laughs> the thing with cancel culture, yes and no. I really think it depends on what you did. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, there's this thing that I heard Trevor Noah say, though, where he was like, people will want to cancel. Like, if someone displays a bad way of thinking or whatever, you want to cancel them instead of helping them. You know what I mean? It's like saying, oh, okay, since you, you, you are thinking like that, let's just take you into the corner and not help you change your way of thinking or something like that. I don't know. You know what I mean? And just segregate them to an area where they can just be racist or homophobes or whatever in that corner. You know what I mean? Oh. So I think, um, and then there are some people that I, I've seen do stuff and just can't get canceled. bro. Even like after people say, Oh, we're going to cancel this person. They will start to flourish. Mm. worse you know what i mean like Tory lanes <laughs> you know what i'm saying like he starts to even flourish worse mm. and then there are some people who i've seen uh, were canceled and did not have not okay. back from it since you know what i mean so yeah. hey i guess it depends what you did <laughs> it depends like if the if, if i don't know man if life was on your side or not but like what like what trevor noah said man i think there should be some and I know not everyone is is able to do that, but there should be some type of, especially if it's thinking patterns, especially if someone has displayed, especially when it comes to there was, I think it was last week on Twitter, mm. people were talking about the whole consent thing. You know what I mean? Oh, so yeah. around top around topics like that, I don't think we can afford to cancel someone and say, ha, ah, because that's a mindset of thinking that has to be changed. Otherwise, if we just cancel someone and not try and and work on how they think uh the the thing won't go away you know what i mean it will just keep on being perpetuated and because that especially when it's displayed from influencers because that person is has a platform and other people will see that type of thinking and will go on with it because there are people who think in those ways you know what i mean and unless it's able to be changed from the influencer going down then you cancel the influencers you go with his followers Exactly. You block him, you still have his followers. That is, and they are giving each other those yeah. weird vibes. Yeah, that no, saying. that's so true. I completely agree with you. Um, like the last couple of discussions we were having with like um our other guests, I was on I was basically saying what she was saying is that I think canceling someone becomes a bit like the hashtag men are trash movement, which I feel is a very redundant movement because Oh, we lost Jordan. Okay. <laughs> Which is a very redundant movement because um, you're not fixing the situation. And I feel like yeah. when, you, when you're constantly on the attack to say yeah. you're trash, you're a rubbish person, that person will become defensive instead of trying to, you know, fix themselves. 
So I think that's what makes the yeah. whole movement very redundant. And I completely agree with you. Like we gave the example of Shingi Munyeza and I was like, okay, should he have stepped down from the church? Like, yeah. Was, was all of that necessary? Like, you know, there's some, my dad was telling me, he's like, there's some churches where if you mess up and the head pastors find out, you stand in front of the whole congregation and you tell them that, okay. And pot- <laughs> yeah, and ask for forgiveness. Right, yeah. and I'm like, that's- what the crap is that? Like, I don't feel like that's what should happen because I'm like, that's going to deter me from wanting to be honest with the church, number one. Number two, my personal sins, if I cheat on my husband, if I... Like, that's my personal business. There's no reason for my guru Ningi from whatever section in the church to know that, like, (laughs) I like things. The the only problem with churches, though, you would think it's your business, but everybody knows the business. (laughs) You know what I mean? That's one thing I've noticed. True, true, true. With churches, I guess maybe that's why they all, that they end up taking that route to say, since everybody knows and everybody's talking about it, let's just try and do it in the public way Um, especially if it's someone who's like had like a lot of influence or whatever and it does come out to that level but yeah that was that was interesting that was an interesting week on twitter yo i feel like every week on twitter there's something new (laughs) new people getting cancelled every day or you get cancelled you get cancelled everybody gets gets cancelled yay (laughs) oh bruh bruh. click striker pose Okay, so in my opinion, guys, I will keep saying this, that cancel culture does not exist, okay? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this up right now, Asaf, because we had a conversation about this and basically how, um, you know, Megan the Stallion was shot in the foot by Tory Lanez and, you know, a lot of people are like, no, I would ne- like, we should cancel Tory Lanez, like, he's trash, abusive man, what, 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 yeah. but on the flip side, there are so many people who still listen to Tory Lanez music. To be honest, I still even have, like, one song featuring Tory Lanez in my playlist I, uh- because it's a bomb <laughs> song. Like, it's a bomb song, to be honest. Like, the song wouldn't be dope if he wasn't on the track. But, like, he's cancelled, in my opinion, because he's an abuser. But you know what I'm saying? There's so many people who are like, he's cancelled, he's cancelled, he's cancelled. But, like, go to the club and you'll still see people, like, shaking their asses to Tory Lanez and, like, you know, buying his music. I'm saying the same people who online saying he's cancelled, but at the party will be playing his song. Or dancing to his, you know what I mean? Right, exactly. Like, it's the same example as, like, R. Kelly mm. or Chris Brown. Chris or Br- These people still sell music. These people still have careers. So I think, you know, cancel culture is not real. It just affects people in the most minimal of ways. And then they can get jobs somewhere else. Like, for example, today, when people watch this, it will no longer be today, but there's... Today on Twitter, there's this whole thing about like this guy being canceled on yeah. from his podcast because they were having like this really disgusting debate. But a lot of people are like, no, it was just jokes. What, 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 what? A lot of people are like, no, it's disgusting. He should get fired. So Old Mutual pulled out of this guy's contract because he was like laughing with his host and they were making like homophobic and transphobic jokes on the podcast. Mm-hmm. And so yeah that's like the big thing on twitter today and oh, yeah. you know what i'm saying this is just one thing today by next week we would have forgotten about the situation like the consent thing we have gotten over it guys on twitter it's here today gone tomorrow people are making their money by next week mm-hmm. but think about it he lost a, a sponsor was that a sponsor that was um old mutual was a sponsor yes for his podcast. old mutual he lost a that's whole a sponsor. That's cancel culture right there. It kind of worked. You know what I mean? Too like, bad. That's not cancel culture, guys. That's not cancel it culture. Is. That it is. is. It is. Standing up for people's human rights. That is all the mutual every- standing up for people's human rights. You have not been canceled. You have not been canceled. You are receiving the consequences for your actions. Make better decisions. That's what it is, in my opinion. Make better decisions. You have not been canceled. You have just been disciplined. Okay? It's discipline. It's the same what? way when a kid does something stupid, <laughs> you hit them. They feel the pain and they must move on and make better decisions. So that's what this is. Old Mutual is playing the role of the parent 
by pulling out their financial support and spanking this man with their cancellation of you know funding so with their what? he must make better decisions <laughs> if he wants to continue to receive funds from anyone else but it's the cancellation <laughs> of that contract exactly. that came from him being cancelled online. People were outraged and said, ah, this yeah. guy, this guy, this guy. So that, that's cancelled culture, but basically. he's not cancelled. He still has followers. He still Maybe has fans. You want, Have you, you want seen the, the comment section? Where... People are defending that man left, right and centre. Do you want a situation where someone is cancelled? Like he cancelled himself, guys. Right, <laughs> You want someone he to be f- cancelled for life? He fumbled even the if bag. he tries, even if he tries to buy the, the bag. MC, kind of like, I, you are cancelled. You can't, you can't get these edges. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want, Jordan. Nah. You want someone to be cancelled? Like he fumbled yeah. the bag. <laughs> <laughs> if you get into Edgar's, no, there'll be like a security cam. No, I just want people to suffer for their decisions. <laughs> No, if you make bad decisions, you should suffer the consequences. That's how life works, right? If you make bad decisions mm. on a public platform, then you should be publicly shamed. Uh, okay, okay, let's say let me just say this. Let me just let me just say something for 2 seconds. As much as we can say it's cancel culture, cancel culture, there's so many people who are going to be negatively affected by the decisions that he decided to make. So in the mm. same way that we can say cancel culture, we're taking food out of his his house, out of his stomach, out of his mouth, whatever, we're c- cutting him off from his checks. How many people are going to lose their lives because of the decisions that he made? How many people are going to be bullied, beaten up? pushed kicked out of their family because of this idea that he's helping to perpetuate that is hateful you know there's so many more consequences that come from the decisions that he made that don't affect him you know what i'm saying so the same way that he creates situations that are going to affect people who are watching people who are you know didn't even sign up people who didn't even sign up to be a part of whatever he's talking about is the same way that he should suffer for speaking on those kinds of things. You know what I'm saying? It's a give and take kind of situation. That's what I think. I hear you. It's just unfortunate. Like the law and justice is like that. It's like someone gets arrested for murder. Mm -hmm. Him being going into jail is not going to bring back that person's life, but it's just a necessary consequence that can be taken. Say, I know we are not going to take care of the whole situation, but at least let's do this. Yeah, and I think it also just goes back to the issue that you're saying, like it depends on what the offense is. I think, you know, and it also depends on how the person feels. If you're remorseful of your actions, like I'll give an example. Um, I think it was a BBC reporter who posted a picture of, um Meghan Markle's baby and was like look at the monkey or something crazy like that whatever you can tell that what? it wasn't a thing made as a joke and it doesn't I remember that it's not something that he was gonna I bet you right now he has no regrets for saying what he said like I think he still would have said it like in any other situation do you get it so I think sometimes there's certain things where if the person is truly apologetic for what they did and it was really like because we were, we're all human we all make mistakes if it was truly something that you did like as a mistake you didn't really think of them you're like oh snap i shouldn't have actually said that you apologize and everything i think someone can be forgiven for that not when someone asks for forgiveness out of oh shit i got caught and now people think i'm a racist. now people know i'm a racist or now people know i'm a bigot yeah. or a sexist Th- that's why i'm saying sorry then that is an issue and i think it's just harder to kind of find out like of what kind of a person someone is. But I think sometimes you can tell, especially when you can see a pattern of behavior from someone. There's yeah. some people who yeah. just suddenly, like they'll say a comment and you're like, okay, this isn't you. And I can tell that this was just something that you said that was really yeah. like, taken out of context. And I get it. Like we all say stupid stuff sometimes. So yeah. that's just my two cents. But I, get, I hear what you're saying though. I completely hear what you're saying. But I just feel like yeah. cancel culture sometimes can just be, too harsh and to a certain point then we just end up canceling everyone jordan writes a tweet to say uh zim men pissed me off oh we're canceling jordan because she hates zim men nah guys she was angry yeah. today because some zim men did shit to her so she's angry like they can cancel me <laughs> they must cancel me actually they must cancel me but they must try they must try it they must You'll try it <laughs> 
I'm playing. No, I'm playing. I'm just saying, yo, I'm sure there's a lot of Zim women, women who have been hurt by enough Zim men in their lifetime to not cancel me. So let the men cancel me, babe. I'm not even stressed. I'm not even, you know, and this is the same attitude that a lot of people have, I'm sure. When they're being cancelled, they're like, girl, let them cancel me. Like, I don't care. I don't need their support. I have a million other core fans or like 500 million other core fans who are still going to root for me no matter what. I don't need it. And if one million people are paying you one dollar, you've already made a a million dollars and you're good. That's so true. That is actually so true. So, yeah, I guess um, that's a really good way for us to kind of round up the conversation. Um, I think the last question I just want to ask everyone is like, you're standing in a stadium with a million aspiring influencers. What advice or warnings will you give them? (laughs) Mm. I think, and especially based on like the conversation we had, And it's on something that Jordan had mentioned earlier to say, you know, just always be real and don't forget your humanity. You know what I mean? I think that that will be the best thing that I'll say to them to say, always keep it real and don't forget your humanity. Mm. Jordan? That's a good one. That's a really good (laughs) one. Um, Yo, this this can be, this is becoming a hard question. Oh my gosh. After all these episodes, I'm like, ugh. To be honest, what I would say is don't don't fake it till you make it. I think I said this already, but don't fake it till you make it because people can smell fake. Well, I can smell fake. Um, mm. I don't know about a lot of other people, but like, you know, the real ones can tell when someone is not being real. Like, I think it just ties into what Asaf just said, like, be real, be authentic. Um, I think another thing that I could just say, like the last thing that I'll say is I think at the end of the day, make sure that the ideals that you have take into account the fact that everyone on earth is entitled to human rights. Let's remember that everyone on earth is entitled to a quality of life. As much as people may not have that, we God knows that people, a lot of people are not getting the human rights that they deserve. But I think if you are someone in a position of influence, then it should be maybe, I won't say a priority, but I think it should be something that you're interested in seeing is seeing people living a quality life. I don't think you should ever step on anyone else to get to where you are. I think that's just tragic. So yeah, that's what I'll say. No, I I, I completely agree with both of you. I think um, I said this last time, excuse me, and I will say and don't open your legs to married men ah! <laughs> or what? don't don't stick your things in married women <laughs> yeah yeah goes both ways, goes both ways. No, yes um, but basically just what I wanted to say is yeah I, I my number one thing is be yourself and be unapologetic about it I've said it before and I will say it again be yourself and be unapologetic about it people back off when they see that like this is who you are and like you're not going to change so people end up just getting over the whole excitement because people will always try and drag you you will always have a haters i was watching this thing where they said um i was watching this show actually and they were just saying that um i think they said 10 percent of the people you know will not like you like no matter what you do you can buy them flowers give them a million dollars they will not like you so you you'll never please everyone but decide who you want to be be unapologetic about it and you shine your light or you spread your darkness, whatever your life plan is. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do what you got to do. So yeah, that would just be... Um, and my- too bad if they don't like you. Yeah, like it is what it is, man. Such is life. And also be ready for everything that comes because you've chosen this path in life. I think sometimes w- w- people are so misled by this idea of being famous or being an influencer or have like know that the minute you put yourself in the public eye you've opened yourself up to everything the love Mm -hmm. and more so than the hate everything (laughs) so be ready for it and toughen up that skin baby if you want to play in the fame world in the influence world you got to have thick skin you can't come here with your 
brittle skin and what 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 and think everything's gonna be cool now nah, it's a it's cold out in these streets yeah true it's unforgiving <laughs> <laughs> 1000 percent that's why the streets were calling vera's phone because they were like hey girl we have to collect <laughs> what you <laughs> saying <Girl. laughs> i even yeah. had to go out to the streets like during the war and be like sorry guys i need to deal with this like it's getting a- <laughs> hey, yo. hey yo it's real <laughs> yeah but um yeah i think thank you so much <laughs> ASAP for being on this episode. You are just like the coolest person ever. And if awesome. this episode doesn't come out by the time the awards are over or the voting period is over, please make sure that you go and vote for ASAP. We need another Zim win, guys. We need another Zim win. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gang signs. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, thank you so much. Are there any other exciting things that you're working on that you want people to know about? Hey. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's yeah. up? Sorry. Let me explain. Oh, Let, me explain. Let me explain. So we've got kids, right? Like the kids from the cottage, like they're playing in yeah. the cottage. So the one is like blowing this weird toy thing and he literally walked into the door. So I'm like... <laughs> You're like, wake up. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the- <laughs> yeah, man. That's another side I haven't seen of you. So. Oh, damn <laughs> Vera, oh my God. Love you. Please make sure you leave that You leave that on the interview. <laughs> don't edit it out. Please, please don't edit this out. <laughs> oh right. my God. Back to the, the, the sweet, nice, fun Vera. So, it's <sighs> that you're working on that you want our 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 rangers to know about any new music new collabs anything exciting um i i know that there will be a lot more music coming out this year um i don't want to give too much away i'm also waiting to see but the outcome of these awards so that maybe i can get a an international regional continental feature or two you know what i mean yeah Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that would be so cool. Oh my goodness. That would actually be really, really dope. If you it so I just like I'm gonna go radio on you right now and just ask who would your like ideally after this whole award thingy, who would you want to have like a collab with? Um, okay, well I'll answer this one only because she's the first person who came to my mind based on like someone asked like from the nominees, who would you like to Tiwa Savage? I would really love to do something. Yes, with yes. You yes, have to. No, you have to. No, you have to. No, you have to. That- She's dope. She's dope. Yep. I think we should start a, a Twitter campaign saying hashtag T1 ASAP collab and start it now. <laughs> so it's trending, and then she's going to be like, what the hell? Who's this? Then- yeah, I'm trying to get Zoom. It might have. That would be dope. Definitely. Be dope. Yes. So, yeah. But anyway. Thank you. That's really dope. We're really excited to hear more music. And for the prize for you to bring it home, bring that award home. I'm going to harass yeah. all the people I know to vote for you. Because yeah, deaf, deaf, deaf. Because we need the support. We need the support. Do you want to say anything? Right. Oh my gosh, I keep freezing. So I'm like, can I even say anything without being frozen? Oh my gosh. But anyway, I wanted to say that, you know what, guys, to be honest, when I met Asaf, he was like really kind, this really kind person. And for me, I really like kind people. Like I was, I've, I've said this before, Vera has heard me say this before. Asap is a really, really, really kind person. Like, you know, a lot of people behind the scenes, they can be really horrible and really like off-putting. But Asap is like a people's person. And I really love that. Like, so I, I really appreciate you coming on here because it just shows like how down to earth and like how willing you are to be a part of the conversation. Because you could have very easily been like, nah, dog, I am not trying to have these conversations with y'all. You know what I'm saying? But you came through and I really appreciate it. I think everyone who watches this will have a lot that they can take away. And you really are someone who speaks for a lot of people in Zim right now. You are someone who represents a lot of people and 
I think that comes with a lot of power and people may not understand what it means to be in your position right now, being someone who is being nominated from them or whatever, because whatever happens after this, this is 100,000% like a life-changing experience for you. I, I can guarantee that for you. So I think people need to watch out. People need to pay attention. If they've been sleeping, it's time for their alarms to ring and it's time to wake up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like it's time to wake up because you're playing yourself. Mm. So yeah, um, shout out to ASAP, guys. I am so, 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 so grateful to you for coming on this episode. Thank you. And we will definitely continue to support you. you. We will continue to retweet and like and share and, you know, all the things. So yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we're going to put your social media handles on the screen. So if you guys want to follow him, check out his music. We're also going to put a link to his YouTube channel so that if you don't know his music, now you will know. <laughs> and yeah. shame on you if you don't know his music. Shame. But, um, <laughs> right. Like, you can see ASAP on Trace, guys. You can go and watch Trace and you will see ASAP on Trace. Yes. And, yeah. you know... If you don't have TV, then I'm sorry. I don't know what you can do. <laughs> Buy bundles and go on YouTube. Okay. But yeah, but right. thank you so much, everybody. Remember to stay safe, sanitize, wear your mask, isolate yourselves if you feel symptoms, and support local. Let's support our own. I think that's one of the most important things about today's episode is like, Let's support our own artists. Like, there ain't no reason why we can't support our own artists. Let's support our own brands. Huh? 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 No more Heineken. We just want to see Kuva in the shop. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so... <laughs> I'm really like plugging it in. Um, so yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share, and stand by for the next episode. What, what? Mm, mm. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, swag, Jimmy.